Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our EWAX removal video today. So this is part of our top 10. So I think this is number seven. So uh, these are the, the 10, uh, my 10 favorite EWAX removals that we've done uh, up until lockdown. I think we'll probably be the fairest way of putting it at the moment. So looking at uh, this particular uh, ear canal here, we can see we've got lots of dead skin debris here at the entrance to the canal. Uh, this lovely gentleman came through he was having a, quite a lot of hearing issues going on there. Uh, this was a really interesting video for lots of different reasons. You can see that what we have here is a buildup of skin debris. And you can see the plates as we are pulling this out. You can see the actual plates of skin detaching from one another in there. So this is a, a keratosis obturans type problem where you get the, a skin detachment and it binds around itself uh, and can cause these rather large uh, blockages of skin in there, which left untreated can cause quite a few problems. So as you can see, we were just using the standard size on the tube, but it's not holding on to the skin very well, because imagine this like a like an onion, you've got layer upon layer upon layer, and it's hardened together and bound and wound and knotted all together in there. So it's not going to come away easily. So I'm opting to use the crocodile forceps here, just to try and uh, pull apart these layers, sort of tease these sections apart. But the, the jaw of the crocodile forceps is a bit too thick, and it's just slicing through that skin. So we're gonna use the Jobson horn here. And you can see, look as we push into it, see the layers pulling apart. See how they're all kind of separating out a little bit there. We're not really getting the good grip. Now, if this was obviously a solid piece of, uh, of skin or if it was a solid piece of wax, then as you go in there with the Jobson horn, it will get the bite to pull through. But because don't forget, we've got all these layers, one on top of the other, as the Jobson horn goes in, it just pulls those layers apart. So what you end up with then is lots and lots of uh, little pieces kind of all separating it out. But it does it help to loosen this bundle of skin, which can sometimes be really difficult to, to kind of pull and tease apart. This is why this one's a really, really interesting one was one of my faves back in with the jobs and horn now loosening look at that do you see that section of skin pulled down there from the top there we go just coming away really nicely all starting to tease apart there and break away and the next section wow these, you do get these really big skin pieces coming away with keratosis obturans. You, sometimes you, you're lucky and you get a, a, quite a large plug uh, coming away. We did do an explanation video of this type of problem as well, uh, which is in our history, so you can take a look at that as well. Just trying to get a grip. Do you see what I mean? Watch the, watch the, the, the forceps now as we go in. As they clamp down, what you tend to find is you see, because the, the, the wax is soft and wet, it kind of breaks apart at the sides, so it just shears straight through it. But that section we're just touching on there with the jobs and horn looks a little bit harder. See how it looks a different texture? I'm just pulling this down now. So far more crumbly, drier type material in there now. Just doing a bit of tidying up with the uh, with the standard size Zolna tube there. Just hoovering up all the looser bits. It gives me a, a better idea then of what we're working on next. All coming away really, really nicely. Just trying to get a grip on this top section now. If you look at the canal walls, you can see they look a little bit pink, but there, there's a, a little bit of sort of uh, a, a sort of white dead skin material. That's what's basically collected together in this uh, in this blockage here. See how this is pulling? Look at as you pull it, you can see it just unravel from inside. It's like taking away a, a jigsaw puzzle. Really, you're, you're you're kind of you're you're looking for that linchpin piece that when you take it away, the whole thing is going to start to come away. Look at the layers. Look as we lift. Can you see how that the, the the layers of dead skin have contributed towards this blockage? Look at the whiteness underneath there. That's the next layer that's that's died off, ready to to bundle together into this ball here. We've hit a more solid piece now. Uh, I remember that the, the gent was sat in the chair for quite some time having this done because it was a, a kind of like a painstaking procedure there. Now that's one big piece of skin I can see that we're just pushing down on because it flexed the whole back section as well. Another thin plate look coming away. See how it peels off 
uh, it's almost like a, a, like a, a scales, I suppose, coming away. Just dragging this along the bottom here. Look at that. Lots of, I mean, this has probably been in here for quite some time. I remember this gentleman actually came in, oh my goodness, a couple of years later, um, just, to, just to come back for a checkup. I, I remember him uh, saying that he, he realized he was quite, his ears were quite famous because they were on YouTube. I remember coming through and saying that. Look at that. The, 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 the canal walls are so pink. Lots of sort of dead skin material there. It's all coming away now, though. And this last section that you can see is really dried and embedded in there. So I'm trying to get a good grip to loosen that part there. There we go. You, see, you can see that layer of skin come away from the top. This piece is really hard. It's starting to move there. You can actually see it. As we got a grip and we pulled down from the top left, you can see the whole thing just start to roll forwards. It's got a good grip. Let's see if it just manages to pinch and not shear it off. There we go. Lovely. That's a really good piece coming away there. When you get these larger pieces out, it just allows you to have a little bit more room in there because you're trying to pull uh, these sections apart. Sometimes you need to be able to move across the canal you know, from, from right to left. Look, you can see the eardrum now on that left-hand side there behind that piece we just took away. There's one more piece hanging down from the top there just in that attic region. Look at that dead skin though. Look at the canal walls. We talk about keratol, if it's untreated and it goes on for a long time, it actually starts to degrade the canal walls. And you can see the beginnings of that here. Look at how kind of wet, pink, aggravated all that is in there. It's a good job this patient came through when they did. Looking at the ear canal when the patient came through for, not so much a follow-up, but when they came through for their neck suction, um, we could see that the ear canals looked, uh, looked so much healthier, this ear canal did. You know, it, it had repaired itself. The skin was looking far healthier. You've got to be careful. Don't forget we talked about the degradation to the canal wall. When you see these whiter pieces at the bottom, we covered it in the last video. Sometimes when you start lifting this up, you really do sort of run the risk of uh, some bleeding under there. But they also, this dead skin could be eating down through that uh, canal wall skin and down to the actual bone underneath sometimes. Uh, you do get quite a lot of, uh, sort of degradation to the skin around that area. Looks like it's not too bad there looking underneath. You can see just how much of that... See that the layer of dead skin, look how thick that layer is compared to you can have the pink is the canal wall itself. Uh, the white layer that we've just taken away is just dead skin sitting on top of it. But now we've got rid of a lot of this material. It means that the um, the actual natural migration process for the skin can kind of take take place again now because we've got rid of that offending uh, thick chunk of uh, skin that's been blocking everything up in there, stopping this migration. Ah, it's difficult to get a good grip here. I'm kind of pinching the side of this. There we are, just pressing into it, trying to get a good grip on that wetter skin material. There we go. God, that took some pulling out, that one. You see it? You can see that the skin is starting to, starting to loosen a little bit there. Yeah, I don't think I would, well, as far as I can remember, I don't think I'd do too much more than this because I'm afraid of it uh, of causing sort of more damage in there, really, as far as that canal wall is concerned. Let's see if we can get rid of that section. There we are. That's come away nicely. See some of the fresher skin there underneath. You know, this isn't coming away quite so easily. Now, when you get to that kind of skin material, whereas everything we've pulled away so far has lifted off the canal wall really, really simply and really, really easily, that uh, type of material there where it's much more kind of solid on the canal wall, 
I would leave that there and let that migrate out on its own because it is quite firmly still attached to the layer underneath. And it's like a if you get, ever get a pull next to your nail, uh, when you, you kind of pull those and it pulls right the way along the skin, it can cause a little bit of bleeding. That can happen in the canal. So this is the same patient, but their second year now, we've got a really uh, thick, hard lump of wax in here. So I'm just trying to get above it there with a look it up. See, we're trying to get above it with a Jobson horn uh, to pull that down to get rid of this. Slowly trying to rock this forwards. See how we're trying to roll it, but you can see how hard it is just by how the uh, how the Jobson horn flicks off the top. So as we get as we get a bit of pressure behind it. It just starts to sort of move and flicks away. There we are. Now we're rolling it. Now it's moving. There we go. So we're rolling this all the way down. You can see that that gray material around the outside is also dead skin where this has been trapped against the canal walls. Hasn't really been budging. So you've got a bunch of dead skin just surrounding that as well. So it's going to lift this up with the uh, standard size on the tube. Look at the leg. Right. This is what they call a false fundus, okay? So basically what we have here is the canal, uh, skin of the canals grown and met the skin on the other side. What I mean by that is if you imagine this is your eardrum, your ear canal goes all the way down there, this layer of skin is here, okay? So it's in front of the eardrum, uh, quite a long way in front of the eardrum. So what that's, that's a, a piece of skin with, a, with its own blood supply. So this is actually really... Uh, you're know, blocking this up it's effectively like having your finger stuck in your ear if you like uh, because it's really going to dampen that sound look as we press on there that you can see that skin the difficulty is you can't get rid of that in clinic here that has to be done in the ear nose and throat clinic because they have to cut that away uh, and to, to expose what's behind it what's behind there could just be a standard ear canal uh, it could be you know a completely blocked it we've got no idea so chances are GP would refer to ear, nose, and throat. They'll do an MRI scan, and they'll check that over, and you'll have that removed. Look at all these pieces, though. Now, bearing in mind, the first piece you see there to the left, that's what came out the first year. Uh, these are the tools we used as well. I remember showing the tools. But everything else came out of that first year. So the block on the left-hand side up to a centimeter there was uh, from the second year. Everything else came out of that first year. Well, um, I really hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed watching it. And uh, we shall be back now uh, with some more top 10s in the next videos as well. Um, if you did enjoy the videos, guys, then please uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you did enjoy them, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, we post new EO Action Mobile videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm still on holiday this week, which is why we're doing the top 10. So I shall see you again next week.